Hey y'all. Quick message. Coming through, coming through, coming through for you. Orange is the color. Orange is the feel. Orange is the vibe. <clears throat> Collective soul searching. Yes. Collectively, we are in a wave of emotional healing. <laughs> and it's so crazy because I'm, I'm recalling a dream that I had recently. Um, a few weeks ago, I want to say. But uh, it was, I, I was having a series of dreams where there was a figure there, a figure that was present that looked like my mother. Um, but it was a dark aspect of the, that, that childhood wound um, that that's not the person that she is now. That, that's not our relationship to each other now. It's very different now. It's very healthy now, much better. Um, but what I was perceiving in my dream was a figure that represented that side of a healing journey that I'm working on, that we're all collectively working on um, because we are all collectively working on healing our inner children. Uh, so that definitely means healing any sort of uh, parent-child wounding you have going on there, right? So in my dream, I was seeing that um, and... I was just in the dream realm and like just going about my business, talking to my friends, going here or there, and this figure was always there. I was I was seeing them, but I was kind of like, when I noticed the figure was there, I kind of like walked away and, and didn't engage, didn't say hi, didn't try to talk, didn't, nope, just immediately went in a different direction. Um, and <clears throat> I could feel that that energy was picking up on the fact that I was avoiding them. Um, and so then finally in the dream, the last part that I remember of it was that, oh, and I did talk about this on Patreon when it happened initially, but um, actually now I'm thinking of a different dream. <laughs> okay, but the one that I'm thinking of right now is uh, finally at the end of it, we were at a dinner table. We were going to all sit at a dinner table, and instead of sitting next to this figure as I normally would, I decided to sit at, across at the opposite side of the table, still with an eye shot. We could see each other, but across the table. Um, and from there, a big wave, because, okay, because we were at this dinner table, but the dinner table was kind of set, like in the ocean, but on the beach at the same time, like a, the, like the beach, the sand, kind of the land was over here in this side, and then the table, I could see that from where I could see from here, this way was the water, and the table was like half on the beach and half in the water. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> and in the dream, I even thought we're, we're gonna sit and have dinner in the ocean okay this is cool but <laughs> so i was just going with it i was having a good time whatever even and i was still aware of this figure but then all of a sudden this big wave came over all of us at this table and i was kind of like woo this is fun you know big wave whoa this is cool <laughs> didn't see that one coming but hey okay <laughs> i did actually that was sarcasm that was sarcasm i, I was like i Obviously, I could have seen that one coming. Like, all of a sudden, we're sitting in the water having dinner, and all of a sudden, this big wave shows up. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. That could definitely happen. Okay. Um, and so now that I'm connecting with the collective here, and I'm thinking of what's going on with the, for the collective, now I'm remembering this dream, and it's putting this dream into more context. Because now, in hindsight, a few weeks after, I've noticed that I have been going through a serious healing period of what that figure kind of represented that time that fig that time in my life that that figure that i was seeing that i was walking away from avoiding I i've been healing through a lot of that and right now and i just did a patreon reading on this too so right now what the collective the greater collective is going through is um emotional healing the color for the, the collective right now is orange um, so this is sacral chakra healing. This is healing around your sexuality. This is healing around your creativity, childhood wounding, mother, child wounds, specifically. Some of you, for some of you, it's father. For some of you, it's both. Um, but it's the feminine, the creative energy that's healing up right now. Okay. Collective, collective understanding. We're coming to um, a greater understanding of why things happened the way that they did. Um, uh, you're... There's a big cycle right now that are, we're closing out. Um, uh, big energetic healing that is happening. This also could be ancestral too, all right? So, for the collective, <laughs> Queen of Flamingos, Queen of Swords. 
I'm using the Alice in Wonderland deck here. Shout out to, this was a gift from a subscriber. Hey. Um, okay, Queen of Swords. Five of Cups. And the world in reverse. Let's see. Jeez. Five of Swords, yep. And the King of Wands. With Justice. And the Seven of Cups. So you have, like I said, the first three cards are the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, but the, and the world. But the world is in reverse. And really what I'm getting... With this world in reverse, is that there is no, there is a hmm. sorry that because as I as I feel through this as I'm talking through it, it's like shifting in front of my face, <laughs> so it's hard to keep track of where we're going. I apologize, guys. Give me a moment to work this out because the first thing I'm feeling was that there was a desire to end a cycle, to not enter into this world or this realm again with this individual or with this energy, which is right on par for what we've been talking about for the collective. But it's just interesting that it's showing up as the world in that sense because really the, when the, when, with the world, when one cycle ends, another one begins. And I guess what's tripping me up is that I, ideally, I feel like, well, if you're ending one cycle, then you should be entering into a whole new world, a whole new, new cycle, right? But the specific feeling that I'm getting with this is that with it being reversed, it's like you're not willing to step into that same world again. You actually do want to end up in a whole new world. But also, what I'm I'm picking up on like kind of the opposite. I'm I'm feeling like it is literally the world in reverse in terms of the fact that something is not ending, a cycle is not ending, someone is not moving on. So maybe what I'm getting here is one side of this part, this situation, potentially the viewer. I don't know. Um, one side of the equation desires to move on while the other side of the equation refuses to try anything new and finds every reason well not even that i was going to say finds every reason to 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 not make a change but what i'm really getting is that um with this queen of swords energy this individual is fighting change altogether what well, is saying and or doing anything to fight this change and and i and the reason why i don't want to say we'll find any reason to do so because this is the queen of swords this is this is not the type it, the queen of swords is not the investigative type if it were the king of swords then i would say this person is maybe more prone to being reasonable or wanting to be reasonable or is more prone to settling on reason rather than just pure emotion or just whim or just gut reaction or knee-jerk reaction, all things that could be represented by the Queen of Swords. But it's not. It's the Queen of Swords. It's not the King of Swords. It's the Queen of Swords. So she's not even listening to reason. She's not listening at all. It's just whatever she wants. She either says yes or no. If it if it goes, if it gets her what she wants, or if, it, if, it, if it, it's in agreement with her, okay, she's on board with it. But anything else, doesn't even care. Doesn't matter what the reasons are. Could be for a very valid reason as to why someone is in opposition with this person, but doesn't matter to them at all. 100%. Doesn't matter to them. And so instead of saying they will find every reason to fight it, they are just, it, it's not even that. They're just blatantly fighting it, no matter what saying and doing anything just to fight against it, whether they're right or wrong. Now this person here 
is stuck in an emotional cycle. You have the Five of Cups here, and then ultimately you have the world in reverse. This is why they're not... And so, so what I'm getting in this reading, because the last three, the last three cards pertain to this person as well, who um, it may not be you. Uh, it may be the, you, the viewer. It may be someone that you're connected to, okay? It probably... Well, it is someone you're connected to. Um, there's a woe is me energy going on with this Five of Cups here in the middle. They don't want to give something up. It feels fairly childish. Maybe even throwing a temper tantrum type of energy. It's like... And it's so funny because I did a reading... Uh, uh, this came out in... Page, this card came out on Patreon. I think it was today. And I was seeing this as an, uh, in the opposite way. I was seeing this person looking at these cups and like finally saying no to them with his... You know, his nose turned up to those cups that have that have spilled but in this reading for this person that this pertains to it's like this person is having a temper tantrum and saying if I can't have those three cups then I'm not moving forward I'm just not doing it I want those three cups I don't care that they've spilled who told you to spill them you came who told you to come around and spill out my cups universe those were mine I wanted them I still want them, and I'm not moving forward until you give them back to me. Meanwhile, the whole while, those whatever spilled out in those three cups was entirely toxic and needed to be released. The universe was kind of doing them a favor, but no, they don't want to take it. This person is too stubborn, I guess. And so that's why they're stuck in this cycle, the world in reverse. You have, well, before I go any further, I do want to show you because it pertains to the cups here. The overall energy is the seven of cups. Damn, with the eight of swords underneath that. Um, uh, already with the seven of cups, I was saying this person is fairly delusional. This person is in uh, a, a delu is is in their own is in their own world. Is really how to the best way to say it, the most respectful way, I guess, to say it without sounding like I'm trying to diagnose somebody here because I'm not but it's like they this they're in their own head they're in their own made up I don't mean to trivialize they're in their own world they're in their own mental space like it and that was confirmed once I saw the eight of swords underneath it okay but then to further clarify this this person we have the five of swords to the king of wands There's um, a vindictive energy here. There is a, a vengeful energy here. Um, this may be subconscious, a subconscious thing for this person. They may not be fully aware of it yet. And I don't actually, I don't think they are because they are actually avoiding doing the healing and or soul searching that it, it would take for them to understand this, understand where this vengeance comes from, whether they choose to heal and transmute that energy or whether they actually become conscious of it and actually decide to push forward with that vengeful energy, it doesn't matter. They have not done the work to get to either of those places. That's why I'm saying it's probably still a subconscious thing. But there is a vengeful energy here. I want to get back at not necessarily you, but those who have hurt me in the past. So I'll take it out on you or whatever I have available to me at this moment, right? But justice is being brought to that, okay? Justice. All right. And how is that justice coming in? How is that justice? How is this justice coming in, Spirit? Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, boy. Oh. Strength. Fool. The Page of Wands. So... Okay. 
yeah, if you're resonating with this reading here, then you definitely want to check out Patreon because what we're talking about in this reading right now is basically what we've been talking about over on Patreon for the last few weeks. Um, however, this is like, for those of you that are just stepping into this energy, this energetic cycle of closing something out, So how, so so definitely check out Patreon, patreoncom slash conversations. There also may be a membership option here on YouTube in the future, so keep your eyes open for that. Okay, so how is this justice going to come in? I was already feeling like, um, I was already feeling like you, the viewer. Mm -hmm. Most likely, not this person here who's stuck in this vengeful energy, but you, the viewer, or the other person in the situation, needs to just disconnect, disengage, 1717 on the counter, just not engage at all, and let the universe work itself out, work its way out. And I can say that because, again, we've been talking about this over on Patreon, and this is how, this has been, this is how things have progressed in this cycle so far. So I can say with confidence, one of the answers to this question is to disengage from the situation and just let it, let it work itself out. Let the universe work it out. And you have that confirmed by the Wheel of Fortune here. You gotta take your hands off the wheel. You can't control how the wheel turns. You can't control the universe. You are part of the universe. You are the universe, but you are not in control. There is a higher mind that is in control here that you are also still part of, but it's not your job to control the universe, so don't even worry about it, right? Why even try? Why give that to the universe? Let the universe do its job, okay. Hands off the wheel. But you can't influence the wheel in terms of how you feel about it, 18, 18 on the counter, in terms of your alignment with it. And part of what you need to do is maintain your alignment that puts you in opposition with this individual. Not that you're in, op not that we're saying you're in opposition for means of fighting or engaging with a fight in a fight with them. No, but you're in opposition with them because you are not in energetic alignment with them. You are the opposite, actually. And that's where you kind of want to stay. It's where you need to stay, okay? Flies. Stay in opposition with it, but also disengage from it, okay? You have this Five of Swords energy here. The Five of Swords has been coming out a lot. And this person, with the King of Wands, this person is vengeful, is out to get what they want, is willing to do anything for it, all right? So whatever this is, it doesn't even have to be a specific person. It could just be an energy, a, t a common energy, a common cycle that you come up against in multiple different people, but it's like the same energy regurgitated with a few variables hidden here or there. You know what I mean? But like, that's what, that's what this could be too. So it's really about, and we did say this on here on YouTube uh, once previously in terms of all this, is it really even worth fighting for anymore? When it's, when the five of swords is involved, you're like, you know what? You're better off putting down your sword and walking away because nobody wins here. No matter what the outcome, nobody wins here. But someone is in very much in that energy of all or nothing um, at any cost, getting fulfilling their desires or their ambitions or whatever it is they want at any cost. They will do anything for it. And the most dangerous aspect of this is the fact that this person is not even conscious of it. I mean, yes, it still would be incredibly or could be incredibly dangerous even if the person were conscious of it. But they're not. That what makes it even what makes it dangerous, but in a different way, is still very, very dangerous, volatile even, is the fact that they're not even consciously aware of what they're truly doing, what they're really creating, what they're really putting out there in energetically in the universe. So that just involves all or invites all kinds of chaos. Wildly more dangerous than the controlled and conscious one, right? That's at least what I'm feeling in this moment here. So bring justice to that. How do you bring justice to that? You have the strength to change your tune. Wheel of Fortune, strength the fool to the page of wands. 
also with the page of wands this is this is the Alice in Wonderland deck so this is this does say uh, peppercorn uh, pepper mills but the, the page of wands and with this page of wands energy I am getting a twinge of uh, maintaining the light keep shining the light okay and which makes me feel like or think this is in opposition to darkness this person that you're dealing with this energy that you're dealing with this cycle that you're dealing with is very dark in nature and don't get me wrong, it's not about eradicating the darkness. You can't have the darkness without the light and vice versa. But it's about shining. It's about bringing light into these dark places, illuminating these dark energies. And it really is not even about, like, say, having to force yourself to go out into the world or interact with these people. No. In some cases, well, we were just saying disengage. And by disengaging, you are still shining the light. It might sound weird or I don't know, counterproductive for, to some of you, but um, by not engaging with this dark energy, you are effectively shining light. And instead are putting more effort and conscious energy into shining more light shining light at this darkness instead of because if you were to engage with the darkness you'd really just be feeding it you'd be feeding into it okay don't engage disengage <laughs> disengage okay oh and then you have the queen of pepper mills queen of wands here as your overall energy <sighs> Which is the... Oh, shoot. You know, I just realized this is the King of Flamingos. I've been doing that. I've been doing that a lot with this deck. This is the King of Swords. Not the King of Wands. Holy moly. Wait, that changes everything in this reading here. Hold on, let me go back a second. I apologize for that, you guys, but we're not going to start over. I'm going to I'm going to uh, adjust my my error because it's really it's not that different different. That's interesting. That does put a different spin on this though. I I completely misread that. I apologize. I was um well, no, I was still picking up on that energy though. You have the Queen of Swords here. Okay, so it really is kind of the same. Um, and it's still a fairly dangerous energy, this person, this energy that they're in. I keep, I'm interesting. Why did I, why was I seeing wands with flamingos here? I've been mixing that up with this deck between the wands and the power mills. That's interesting. The, the, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Sorry guys, give me a moment. So it feels like this person is settled in doing whatever it is that they can or whatever it is that they have to in order to get what it is that they want or to get revenge. Because this is not this is not wands. This is not the king of wands. It's the king of swords, and yet, but I'm still getting that vengeful energy. And I guess that's where the lack of awareness lies, because this is purely mental. It's this person is 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 um running solely on the fact that they've been hurt by something in the past five of cups and they're looking at this like if i'm okay see that's the one fact they have settled on if i can't have like there's this person throwing a temper tantrum and saying i want that back or i'm not moving forward 
I want this, I have to have this, I have to have it this way, or I'm not moving forward. I'm not cooperating with you, universe, or I'm not cooperating with you, person. That is the one fact that they have settled on. Which makes them even more dangerous. So that's where that danger aspect is coming from. With this King of Swords, Five of Swords energy here, that's where this real danger aspect comes in because they are... Because the King of Swords can also represent the judge and jury type of energy. And what it feels like, it, what it does feel like here, since we do have these counterparts, it feels like this feminine energy um, is running the show in the background. And the only thing this guy is doing in the foreground is... is following the dictator, the dictations of this feminine energy, this queen of swords energy. This could be literal, you know, two people in your life that you're dealing with in terms of this situation, or this could just be within one person, right? But the feminine is more of the emotional side, even though we are talking about the queen of swords, so she's not very emotional at all <coughs> in any way, shape, or form, and yet emotion is driving this situation. Five of Cups, Queen of Swords. So it's not. So yes, the King of Swords is here, and that is the type to deliberate. That is the type to. But that's not what he's doing in this sense. This masculine is following the orders of the Queen of Swords. This person is very much showing up in a way that is solid in the fact that. What I'm hearing is I've done my research and I have come to the conclusion that the only way to fight fire is with fire, is what this person is saying or is the energy that this person is giving off. It's what this person's energy is saying to me at this moment. I've done my research and I've come to the conclusion that the only way to handle this is through force, is through underhanded means, is through by any means possible. That's dangerous. So how do you bring justice to that? You recognize what that is and you say, no, thank you, not today. And you walk away, quite literally. You do not engage with this. Okay, you have the Queen of Peppermills, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is you. You need to be in the vibration of what it is you want. You need to be shining this light. You need to be this light bearer. You need to be in your magnetic energy, bringing in what it is you want now that you're changing your tune and going in a different direction. And what I was hearing earlier about this vengeance, this vengeance is going to weed itself out. It's going to show itself. It's going to sabotage itself. It's going to be blatantly obvious. You don't want to be involved with that when that happens. I'm kind of getting a bit of a told you so energy from you. And that makes perfect sense because also part of this cycle has been the fact that... Um, it's like you saw this coming, or you could see it from a mile away, or you recognized this pattern, and now it's being proven to you, and you're like, nope, sayonara, sucker. I'm not doing this again. Yeah. This is good, guys. It's really good. I want to get a closing message from you here. so interesting that I was, that I mistook the queen of, the, I'm sorry, the king of swords for the king of wands, but then the queen of wands came out. And it's interesting because I was seeing king of wands energy in that. It did, it did make very, per, it did make perfect sense, but now that the queen of wands has shown up, it actually makes more sense that it's that actually the king of swords so this per because when I noticed it was the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and then I was like, but then we had the King of Wands out here. So this is similar energy. Are you two still in some sort of energetic alignment? And, that, and that's when I noticed. I was like, wait a second. This isn't the King of Wands. This is the King of Swords. Oh. 
So that puts you in two different suits. So that to me is confirmation that you are not in energetic alignment with this anymore. Maybe at one point, this person did show up as a king of wands to match your queen of wands. But then somehow, some way, this queen of swords showed up. Or it was the fact that this person was king and queen of swords this whole time, but they were masking themselves as the king of wands. It was a farce somehow. It was an illusion. They were really king and queen of swords this whole time. Or maybe they did actually kind of align as a king of wands, but they always had this underlining king and queen of swords energy going on, which is very vengeful. This could be a cycle within them that they are not fully aware of. Or maybe this is you. Take it as it resonates. So the fact of the matter here is that I, I, it actually makes way more sense as you are showing up as the wands energy. Because like I said, continue showing that light, that, uh, shining that light. This is the light here, the king, the, the, the wands energy, the page of wands, the queen of wands. Now, ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, you are this mature queen of wands energy. But in terms of this situation, you are shining a new light as the page. You're starting a new chapter. You're building a new skill. You're starting a new life. You're going in a new direction. You're starting a new path, something like that. Okay? That's why it's showing up as the page of wands, because it's new. In relation to this situation you're dealing with, with this king, queen of swords figure energy. The justice is brought into the situation by disengaging, allowing the universe to do what it's going to do, and you changing your tune. This is like a whole other reading in and of itself, but it's not. It's closing out. It's part of this reading. Overall energy, you do have resurrection. Okay, definitely Phoenix energy going on here. This is beautiful. Recovery, come back, return. Shake off the past and rise again. Reinvent yourself and you'll rise up from these the ashes even more powerful. That's exactly what you're doing here. Reinventing yourself. There we go. There we go. That's what you're doing here. Reinventing yourself. Swerving on them haters. Swerving on them. Swerving on them. Whatever you want to do. However you want to call it. You've got superior. Okay. You are no better than anybody else. But you are in a superior energy. A superior light. 444 on the counter. You are in the higher energetic you are of a higher in a higher energetic vibration you have achieved a higher energetic vibration or at the very least in relation to whatever cycle it is that you're breaking free from here okay because let me remind you this person has the world in reverse this energy this cycle has the world is represented by the world in reverse or has this world in reverse type of energy right now about it okay meaning that it is not moving forward that is not moving on it is not ending the cycle and moving to the next energy it's not it's stuck here in this cycle it's not going anywhere M meanwhile whoever is in opposition here could be you you have the fool and in terms of the tarot here, for those of you who know, you know, but if you don't, I will let me tell you, the world is the very last card in the major arcana. Okay? The fool is the first. So when you reach the end of the major arcana here with the world, you end that cycle, and then you jump out in a new one and cycle back to you start at the fool again, where you're taking another leap of faith into a brand new world, into a brand new cycle. That's you. 
Not this person here. Not this person here. Queen of Swords, Five of Cups, the world in reverse, Five of Swords, King of Swords. No, sir, that's not this person. Not this person at all. Okay. So. But you are resurrection. And you are able to do this because you are in a superior energy. You are in a superior light. You have cleverness here. And I do feel like this is a skill you have developed recently. Um, your recent energetic boost, jump, if you will, has brought a level of cleverness to you. But with actually with the cleverness energy, I'm really just feeling um, moving in silence. There's a lot of energy of that recently. Moving in silence. Okay. Which is wise. Okay, there is a big energy of this in whomever is resonating with this energy in the collective right now. One of the main characteristics of it um, and one of the main signs that you're in it is that um, you've, you've, got, you've gained an uptick in your wisdom. And it's nothing that you're really trying to brag about. It's nothing that you really want to be seen. It's not like, it's not like you're going to hide it, but you're not about to run around and and shout it from the rooftops, you know what I mean? You're too wise for that. You're too clever for that now. You you understand the value and the meaning of needing to move in silence. And it's really not even about trying to be secretive either. We're not talking about seven of swords, five of swords energy where you're trying to be deceptive. No. It's more a level of, it's, it's it really boils down to a level of humbleness. You don't, you don't need to shout it from the rooftops. You don't need to have a camera crew around you when you're uh, donating to the homeless on the street or buying, taking someone to get some food or like going to a shelter or, uh, or when you're doing good deeds. You, you, don't, you don't need public recognition. You don't need that external validation because you're solid in the fact that you know how, you're contrib how, how your contributions are aiding in the process and that's all you need. That's, that's how you know you're in this, that, that, okay, so that, for any of you that have, may have been kind of like, is this really me? If you resonate with what I just said there, then yes, this is you right now, what we're reading about right here, okay? You have small steps, the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories, celebrate them, they will take you there. You have good gossip. Your reputation is very good at this time, or you're being talked about in a positive way, and then you have next level. If you leave your comfort zone, you will see accelerated growth and change. You've already left your comfort zone. That's not the issue here. So this next level energy, um, this card is just a confirmation that you're reaching the next level. As I've been saying, oh, and then also you have crystal clear here. This is very, this is crystal clear for you. It's time to see your life and its limit, and its limitless potential without seeing through rose tinted glasses. Uh, for you right now, I just feel like this is this situation is quite crystal crystal clear for you. Maybe it has been, and this reading has helped bring you confirmation of that, which has helped you settle into it, or this reading has now brought the crystal clarity to you that you needed. So if you're re resonating with this, I highly recommend that you check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. But also uh, keep an eye out if you don't want to do Patreon and you want to keep it here on YouTube. Um, I can, I'm thinking of setting up membership so that for some members only videos. Um, the way I see it right now, you it would be the same content that you have available to you on, um, on Patreon. 444 on the counter. Uh, how, uh, it would be the same content. However, um, Patreon gives you more tiers, more payment options. So for YouTube memberships, I'm thinking $5.99 a month. For extra readings, these uh, that you could also find on Patreon, um, but also uh, members only live streams um, here on YouTube. And I'm working on 
figuring out how to do that on Patreon at, at, at the same time as well. This is an idea I'm throwing out to the collective. If this sounds cool to you, then let me know in the comments down below. Um, and, but then Patreon also gives you extra options. Uh, there is a cheaper option uh, for membership, monthly membership on Patreon, $3, I believe. Um, but then there are other tiers. There's $7, there's $11. $7 gives you 10% discounts on personal readings. $11 gives you 20% discounts on personal readings. This is through Patreon. And then there's another, uh, um, the final tier that gives you one, uh, one reading per month plus all the Patreon content. Um, for ten dollars less than a per twenty dollars less actually than a personal reading, ten dollars. Anyway, I'm working this out. Um, let me know what you think. But yeah, that's my idea right now. To if you want if you want to be if you want to get extra readings, um, and you don't necessarily want to join Patreon, I'm thinking of opening that to members here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. Okay. Okay. Cool. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next one.